on a very warm welcome to this special. He is the most successful coach in Ranji Trophy, having won six titles overall, three with Mumbai, two with Vidarbha, and one this season with Madhya Pradesh. Many call him a hard taskmaster, a strict disciplinarian. But if you talk to any players from Madhya Pradesh cricket, they say it's because of him they have won the Ranji title. They attribute their success to this magician who joins us today, Chandrakant Pandit or Chandu sir, as he's fondly called. He's here with us. Uh, sir, first of all, congratulations. A huge moment for uh, Madhya Pradesh cricket and for you to win the Ranji title this season. Thank you very much, uh, Maya. And uh, it's very nice of you uh, people around in Madhya Pradesh, all over the country, and uh, very nice of them to you know, acknowledge in such a way. I mean, MP's first time winning that championship, of course, 23 years back that we missed out on that. And I was the person, so uh, probably that was a lot of emotions, uh, you know, I had during that match. But uh, it is very good for uh, MP cricket as well as the Indian cricket as well. Mm. The way the boys have played, it is not only Madhya Pradesh has been winning, but it is a very good thing that, uh, you know, for Indian cricket that, uh, you know, in past, Saurashtra has won, Gujarat has won, Vidarbha has won, MP has won. So, you know, giants team like uh, Mumbai, giants team like uh, uh, Karnataka, Delhi, Bengal, all these teams are always, uh, you know, had uh, impact on uh, domestic cricket. But it is good that the new teams are coming, young players are coming, and uh, it's good, I think it's good for uh, Indian cricket. Mm, absolutely, sir. But let's just go back to the final, the moment that uh, that MP won. First of all, you were emotional, uh, Im rather without any emotions for the first uh, uh, four days. On the fifth day, finally when they won, you got very emotional. It was a huge moment. You've spoken about it 23 years ago. You couldn't do it as a captain of MP on that same venue, sir. The script couldn't have been written better. This is like a perfect uh, blockbuster movie script with a perfect climax. Well, I I, I remember that the day we left from Holkar Stadium from Indore, and I was just chatting with uh, Mr. Sanjay Dandali, who is our uh, you know mentor, who is our guiding force for MP cricket all these years. And he just reminded me, Chandu, remember that we played that final and he was part of that uh, team. And uh, when uh, he was talking about that while we were having uh, tea and coffee, uh, I just mentioned, sir, probably that uh, are you trying to put a pressure on me? Or maybe this is, you know, maybe God wants us to go there in the same venue and what uh, we could not achieve, probably he wants to give it to these boys. And that kind of, uh, you know, thought uh, it came in my mind. And uh, of course, uh, that emotions 23 years back, uh, I cannot forget the day, uh, you know, the last ball was hit by Rajat Patida. And I was very, very happy about that. Uh, I knew that this, this is a different generation. And those days who, who played that final, those players were entirely different. Right. But uh, still, it was a Madhya Pradesh. Okay, now you know what it takes to transform sides, sir, to win titles. Vidarbha, Mumbai, of course, now MP. What is the Chandrakant Pandit way of coaching? Now, it's very, very difficult to uh, tell you or probably it is not even uh, I would be able to tell you or I know personally for myself. Uh, I'm not trying to be too modest, but uh, it's a different formula I have always been following. Uh, basically, I'm very uh, a God-fearing uh, person. And I respect uh, the game a lot because uh, uh, this has been taught to us by a lot of legends in the past from Mumbai. And, uh, you know, my uh, late uh, Guru Sri Ramakant Rajsekar uh, and uh, late Ashok Mankar, whatever I could, uh, you know, gain from them, probably information, knowledge about the game, which I've been implementing the same thing. The simple formula is not that I'm coming out of the box something. But of course, I've been a very, very practical man uh, in, in uh, cricket as well as in my general life. Uh, I believe in that, that the practicality is more important. Of course, there are a lot of gadgets, a lot of uh, um, you know, computers and everything that we, uh, that can help you. Mm. We can always take the help of that. But uh, I think once that method is, uh, you know, come from uh, Mr. Ramakant Achrekar, the way he's been coaching, 
during our playing days and what he used to do what are the things that he used to follow and of course he was the most uh, disciplinarian uh, person he never liked to you know disrespect the game he never wanted us to throw the uh, wicket i mean i remember playing in school cricket uh, i scored in a harris shield uh, 301 in a day and the last ball of the day i threw my wicket and uh, as soon as i came and he fired me and he slapped me which uh, i think that uh, reminds me every time that one should not throw his wicket so this kind of discipline, this kind of the approach towards the game, which uh, he has been teaching me, and that is what the same thing is even passed it on to uh, the uh, today's uh, cricketers. And of course, uh, when I'm talking about Ashok Mankar, is Ashok Mankar has always taught me about the strategy planning and how one can go about the game, how you can uh, you know manage the situations. And most important thing is that how best thing you can um, you know get out of the players, individual players, mm -hmm. and manage the team as well. Sure. We talk about individual players as well, sir, but just coming back to the final, it was really uh, wonderful to watch. Why? Because of what you were just saying, that uh, you know Madhya Pradesh gave Mumbai the taste of their own medicine. And that was obviously because of how... Uh, you know, you've gone about coaching this team. So you said that bante, which is what we saw in the final from MP. Well, I was very happy that the boys have responded in such a way. I mean, I being a uh, Mumbai cut and mm. I have played for so many years in Mumbai. In fact, I also coach uh, Mumbai team. So I know the mindset of the players and how they can bounce back. Because mentally, I always feel that they are more stronger than any other team. Because they've been playing in Maidan cricket. They have been taught that to never give up attitude. So that kind of, uh, you know, uh, attitude or approach that I've always been aware about. And the same thing I try to inculcate it in that. Because I know that probably put the pressure on the Madhya Pradesh boys. Because they are not being used to playing finals very often where if the other side, if you look at uh, Mumbai, Mumbai cars are all used to with playing finals. So the situation they have always tested, the last line which I mentioned on the last day, that uh, doesn't matter if they are used to testing all kinds of uh, you know, situations. Mm -hmm. And we probably going through from quarterfinal to finals, we have little bit tested these situations. And uh, I'm sure that you can bounce back up that. Because last day was very important uh, for us uh, thinking that it's a mental toughness. Yeah. So how mentally you're tough and that can only do the game that it is with you. Mm, absolutely. So with a new team though, how do you approach your coaching? Speci specifically, tell us about how you began with MP. No, it's not only MP, but uh, wherever I go, I've got a little uh, you know, habit of getting into very close to the uh, individual players. And, okay. Probably you know, having interviews with them and trying to find out what environment they have grown up probably you know what kind of uh, sort of uh, mindset they have and uh, you know what is the family background all sort of things i'm trying to you know uh, gather and that helps me to work on the player so i know the mindset exactly what is going to happen how much education he has gone through or he has taken so there are players who are not even going to the schools which is very difficult for them to coach because ultimately, the education also makes a lot of difference uh, while you are playing. So, the family background, the, uh, the friend circles, then uh, you know the education, all all sort of things that I would like to you know uh, gather uh, for every individual player, and then it makes me a little easier to understand the mindset. And I know that uh, which which are the boys are going to be under pressure. When is that they, they don't you know. Uh, Communication skill is little less, uh, less, or certain boys have a less grasping ability as well. So I have to act in a such a way that okay. in a simple way that I can put it, you know, in front of them to understand with giving so many practical examples. So not only cricket, but other than cricket, it might help them to understand better uh, the plans, the strategies, etc. Okay, you've also been very clear on getting a free hand in selection, sir. How big a role does that play? I mean, for example, take Akshat Raghuvanshi, you brought him on board. Look at the way he's responded, 350s and 100. 
No, well, I think I must thank uh, Madhya Pradesh Cricket Association for that. It is, you know, giving me free hand. Mm -hmm. uh, that was their first decision. And I think that was the right way to go and right direction we can go. I mean, selection committee has always, uh, you know, very supportive to me without asking, maybe without putting any hindrance and probably having faith in me. So, I mean, that has helped me a lot to find the, or uh, identify the uh, talent. And that is one of the Akshat Raghunshi. In fact, the combination of the team, which I'm trying to make it, our selection committee meeting is not taken more than 10 minutes. And I'm very, very proud about that, uh, that the way they have supported. I mean, that is that kind of free hand. That free hand does not mean that it's obviously that any coach will have a pressure on that if once you are given a free hand that you need to or you have to make sure to uh, get the right balance of the team, a right candidate for the year. And I always relay horses for courses. Mm. So that is most important for me. It is maybe the player who must have scored 100 runs or maybe 70 runs or a bowler who must have got a five wickets. But if he's not needed in the next uh, uh, game, uh, it's not suitable uh, fish surface for him. Mm. I may change him. So that is very clear in our team. And okay. every player is very much aware about that. It's not that I have scored runs. That means I'm taking granted to play the next match. So it is like a, a horses for courses. Sure. Okay, sir. Also, as a coach, have there uh, been incidents where, you know, you've tried to get certain players out of their comfort zone into more uncertain areas just to get more out of them? Yes, I mean, there are certain players what I find that they are a little, com they, they like a comfort zone. I mean, comfort zone, yes, in what extent that I have to just find out. Because there are certain things that cricket does not demand that comfort zone. Mm -hmm. Because I always learn from my coach, Ramakan Dachrika, once you are, com you, are, you, are com you, you are into comfort zone, you might find it a little difficult when it, there are tough situations are coming. You have to be uncomfortable to get into a comfortable zone. I mean, first you have to be uncomfortable where you can get in comfortable zone. That is the theory that he has always taught me. So I try to make them understand that why you have to be uh, uncomfortable initially, but you will be always comfortable in terms of maybe in technique, maybe in strategy, maybe in bowling. I mean, certain bowlers, they feel that what line and what uh, length I'm expecting from them and the side of the stumps which they are going to use. So they always come back to me, sir, we don't find it very comfortable. So initially you may be uncomfortable, but once you get going, you will be uncomfortable. So that sort of thing is very important. And uh, I always uh, find that as a uh, team, you need to have on one page everyone. The thoughts, because it is very difficult to get everyone on one page, that is, you know, 15 guys and last two seasons, uh, BCC has allowed 20 guys to 10, 20 players to go on a right. tour. So it becomes very difficult. And to get in on, on the one page, we have come out with some certain ideas that, you know, uh, making a uh, different committees mm. uh, that is, you know, to give them responsibility to make them understand the value of that, uh, uh, their uh, inclusion in the team and uh, responsibility as if you think about you know, tribal committee we had. So tribal committee uh, takes the whole responsibility of tribal and they take the initiative. So that will help them on the ground as well. You know, when they're batting, when they're bowling. Sure. Or maybe the food committee, so what, what uh, dinner we are going to have, that responsibility is given to them. That sort of things we are given. Initially, they were not comfortable with that. Mm. But that has happened now. They themselves, they're coming back and say, we don't need any manager or we don't need anybody that we can manage our own. Okay. So that sort of confidence level that they are, uh, you know, uh, having now. Okay, so how do you strike the balance between being strict and being approachable? Well, I mean, strict is only to probably the situation which you have to handle. And approachable, I'm always approachable for them. Uh, strict is somebody have the different definition of strictness. I mean, if you have a discipline, does not mean you're strict because in every uh, of every walks or, or walks in your life that you have to be a discipline. Mm. But I think the discipline batting it is expected in a uh, cricket. Discipline bowling, uh, bowling it has been expected in cricket, and partnerships it has been called. So I think 
that kind of discipline i try to inculcate in them and the approachable is anybody has any doubt on anything they would be always in a touch or maybe they can, they can knock the door of my room and enter i mean i'm very very happy that there are so many players they uh, you know spend time in my room uh, i mean aditya srivastava if you talk about the captain and rajat patel the vice captain i think minimum 3 to 4 hours in a every day they are spending in my room and what were the conversations like sir the conversation about the game conversation about the general thing conversation about the past conversation about the current and how we are going to approach the game there are many many aspect that we cover and at the same time we are concerned about the individual player so you know there are certain players i remember there are there are certain players who adit comes back and gives me feedback or rajat gives me feedback the certain player is feeling it is low i mean the way he is moving around and probably that player is not coming to my room but then i have to make uh, uh, some excuses to call him you know in a different way and make him a little more comfortable and it's like you know uh, you talk about akshat you talk about uh, kartik gaurav yadav you some at times they feel little low you know because that expectation is too high and that sort of thing that uh, you know one has to uh, every coach does that job i'm not saying only i do that but every coach has to do the same job to lift their confidence and make them uh, you know understand that yes you have the ability to do it mm. how different will your approach be to coaching if you were coaching say the indian team or even an ipl team sir the ipl will be entirely different because it's a different ball game mm. it's a different version of the short version of the game i mean you don't have a time to send messages you don't have time to discuss with the ball because by the time you you know start thinking on something which is gone so that approach will be entirely different because you have all international players there are 80% international players around you you don't require to you know keep sending messages or keep telling them anything about it because they are mature enough at that level but you know we talking about ranji trophy is entirely different with domestic cricket is being played not by every international player mm. so that approach will be entirely different and today's generation and what i look at it uh, i am 20 years back cricket that has changed a lot because the lot of confidence has you know they have gained i mean if i have to go back 20 years back and probably you know achrekar sir is telling me not to hit the ball in the air but today i have changed my approach is that yes if you can hit it hit it out of the ground so that sort of messages uh, i keep on sending it or maybe the player is so communicative now with that confidence i mean i remember that uh, you know rajat or uh, shubham sharma is sending a message uh, to uh, a man who's gone to uh, give them water saying that sir ko pooch lena ki main isko bahar maar sakta hu so i said yes so i have to just put him uh, show him thumb ha and say go ahead with that but be sensible be calculative that is what i always keep on saying so that is a different approach towards the game now सर वो भी है ना थोड़ा सा आजकल बाहर मारने में ज्यादा मजा आता है आज की जनरेशन को नहीं मा, मा, मारने में मजा आता है देखने में हमें भी मजा आता है पर दैट शुड नॉट बी ओनली फॉर पब्लिक बिकॉज यू हैव सर्टेन मिशन इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई मीन इफ यू लुक एट द वे दे फाइनल दे हैव प्लेड आई मीन 300 अगेंस्ट मुंबई आई मीन वेरी रेयरली इज समबडी हैज डन इट सम टीम हैज डन इट और सम प्लेयर हैज डन इट सो आई हैड आई हैड टू लीव देम दैट यू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ परफॉर्मेंस यू आर शोइंग i mean it is more important rather than saying that yes if you win the final you are good team i would see the final how you play whether people should think about is that team is worth playing against mumbai or not yeah i mean mumbai's reputation is entirely different compared to madhya pradesh but tomorrow no but no one should come back and say that oh this team was not good enough to play in the final so i was very happy about that and the way i was talking to them that is how i started lifting their confidence so what did you say to them well it's frankly speaking it's very simple thing uh, you know the uh, temperament of mumbai players the attitude of mumbai players the approach towards the game of mumbai players which are entirely different 
we are also at the equal level playing in the final that first thing you have to think about we are good enough to play final and we we are playing with the team of course has a lot of reputation mm. but you have to take a pride to play well against them rather than putting pressure on you yourself to win the finals final has been played to win that any team playing a final wants to win but now is more important that mentally how strong you are to handle those situations sure. because mumbai lions are going to attack you hmm. and every moment they are going to come on you and how you are going to handle those situations mentally that will win the game for you hmm. so winning mindset and how do you do it mentally so kadusness not just in your batting but also the mindset itself sir other thing being you praised aditya shivastava a lot you've said he's played a huge role and he has what was it like him as a captain well is i think one of the best captain i have come across uh, in my career of course there are other captains of vidarbha to mumbai they have been doing well as well but i think uh, aditya has shown a different concern for his team different uh, concern for individual players and that is one of the reason which you asked me that how what what is the discussion during this 3 hours and 4 hours so i i find him very concerned about the team and i'm sure that that means he, when he is showing that concern it means business for him mm. i mean he's ready to sacrifice everything i mean if i have to call him in 5 minutes he is there in 3 minutes you know in the team, in the, in the room so he was very keen in that uh, he started handling behind me the uh, the individual players because he knew that and such at a time i'm little harsh i'm little aggressive in you know approaching them just to hit their big ego but then he goes back and he tells them to what is the reason and why sir has done that ah, and that is because that is very good that uh, the habit he has got mm. so sir he was softening the blow yes at at times and at times he used to come back and give you feedback sir this is what happening now you have to enter in now you have to put your step forward now <laughs> <laughs> so there are both ways he used to do that. Huh. But so what was that about you sitting in one spot with your red towel completely no emotion no expression what's the funda behind that sir is there some superstition sitting on that one chair that's where we saw you throughout the final No no not really that because people misunderstood that it's not superstitious I mean I always like to sit in a position where I can uh see my all the players on the ground mm. that that position was entirely different when you know initially when i was sitting and i could could not see a right side and left side of the uh, uh ground sure. where it, uh, so i had to take that seat particularly to uh see my players and captain or other players can look at me if in case any changes has to be done so that was one of the reason of course towel is there because always been sweating a lot because there's a lot of pressure <laughs> and you know uh, and um, uh, we cannot uh, think about what is going to happen next ball and that kind Achha, of pressure is एक और चीज है सॉरी एक और चीज है कि कितनी बार मैसेजेस जा रहे थे मुझे लग रहा था कि हर ओवर के बाद जब भी ड्रिंक्स ब्रेक में मैसेजेस आप भेज रहे थे सबको नहीं क्या होता था कि हमारे पास यू नो देयर आर सो मेनी ऑप्शंस वी हैड व्हेन वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द टीम मीटिंग विद आदित्य एंड रजत we had so many options if this does not work let us try so that timing has to be uh, 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 right so i think aditya has always told me sir if you feel that we should we need to change the strategies mm. so immediately you let me know or i look at you so that kind of uh, you know message is to go it was nothing that we had a uh, you know told him that this this is not correct or this should not be done mm. but we luckily uh, aditya and uh, me had a very good rapport and the communication that we had that has helped the team a lot and he has always respected me and my one word you know in certain things that he wants to do it even if he will try, uh, he will send a message that i want to try this for this reason so okay. of course go ahead or don't do it i mean that is what happened in the final match uh, when uh, we were bowling outside the off stump that was our first yeah. strategy but we realized that they have been scoring four to five runs in per over mm. and when he came back uh, uh, during the uh, drinks and we had a chat uh, 
inside and he said sir this is what i feel now i said even i was thinking about that let's go ahead now mm. and let's try and go on this stump so we probably you know achieve our result okay so communication is most important and uh, you know the confidence uh, of the uh, captain and uh, rapport between coach and i always been saying that he is not my captain but uh, is like my son and uh, father uh, rapport we have Chandrakant Pandit, whatever you did, your way is the right way. Your way was the winning way. Congratulations once again. And uh, sir, this now the legends only growing. You know, no, no, six titles and counting. Every team now thinks that if Chandrakant Pandit is the coach of that team, they are going to win the Ranji Trophy title. So the expectations and pressure will be more. But I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I'm sure yes. you will find a way to handle that. No, Maya. It is very. I'm under so much pressure. Last three, four days. In fact, after finals, you know, when I toss up the coin, the one side says me, "Very good, well, well done." The other side says, "Guy, please be aware about this. The pressure is coming on you now." So, <laughs> the, all the pressure is there, and very kind of uh, people. I mean, nice of people, and with their kind words, all of you are around. But uh, hope that uh, you know God has always uh, blessed me with this, and hopefully we'll continue with that. But I will not leave my process behind. Absolutely. Whatever job I've been doing. Absolutely, follow the process the right way. Thank you so much, sir, once again for joining us. Congratulations also, and all the best for all your plans that you have for this team and for yourself. That's it. Then Chandrakant Pandit, like we said, the most successful. coach in ranji trophy spoke to us about what it takes to create a team that is a winning outfit he's done it with mumbai he's done it with vidarbha and now this season has done it with madhya pradesh winning their maiden ranji trophy title that's it then on this special goodbye thanks for watching